up, everybody? This is Brian. And I'm Logan. And we're Crush Cards. Hi, friends. Hi, family. How you doing today? So here it is, y'all. You guys have been asking and asking and asking, where is the updated zombie combo deck list? Here it is, my friends. This is the one right here. We did it. We finally got it out for you. <laughs> so as you guys may know, the most recent ban list made my previous version of this deck and all almost previous versions of this deck completely unplayable. They eviscerated the combo list that I previously had because they hit not one, not two, not three, not even four or five, but 10 cards in the deck. They literally made the deck unplayable. But have no fear, this is a deck that never dies because it's zombies, duh, and it's the best deck. So we had to go through and revise the way that we play this deck, revise the build a little bit, and we had to look for some additional extenders that are extremely spicy. So before we get into the profile, we're gonna ask you guys real quick, just go down, take 10 seconds, and subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. You'll get all of our updated spicy lists before anybody else sees them. And you just get to be a part of our big old happy family, which is, you know, a bonus. Check us out on Instagram. It's at CrushCardsYGO. And as I'm sure many of you guys already know, this video is on Team Sam's channel. However, we decided to go a little bit more in depth about the deck, extra deck, and side deck with all the card choices in it and why we chose to play what we play and do an extra test hand. So make sure you guys stick around for that. And so let's get into the profile right now, y'all. We're gonna try to breeze through a lot of these cards. So we do play Triple Shiranui Solitaire. This is your generic play starter, like fetch card. You literally just tribute any zombie monster, which is typically itself, and then you special summon a zombie tuner with zero defense directly from your deck. The card in which you're going to fetch, you play triple copies of probably the best starter monster that has ever been created in the entire game. It's Unizombie. This card is even more busted now because not only is it a foolish burial for zombie monsters, it also helps you discard cards out of your hand and it's a tuner. So it's a literally a free needle fiber. Like this card is unreal. We play triple of the best zombie extender ever. Mizuki, this card is Monster Reborn, not a hard once per turn. You reborn any zombie monster in your graveyard and when Zombie World is a face up on the field, all monsters on the field and graveyard are zombies. So this gets you anything and everything. This card is busted. We are playing the one Gozuki, not because it's a starter, but because it's an extender. So you have this card in your hand, mid to late game. You can discard it off of any of your other effects and then get it engraved to banish a secondary zombie monster in your graveyard and then special summon an additional zombie from your hand. So it kind of gets you like a second normal summon almost. And you don't really want to, but if you are forced to, this card is also a foolish burial for any zombie monster. Playing double Necro World Banshee just for the grind game, but this is a quick effect. It banishes from either the field or the graveyard to activate zombie world directly from your deck. We have the one glow up balloon. This is just a part of your combo. It's a tuner, so you can search it off of needle fiber. And what this card does is once it hits the graveyard, it banishes, and then you special summon a level five or higher zombie monster directly from your deck, providing that zombie world is face up on the field. And if not, you still get to add it to your hand. Only restriction with this card is once you activate that effect, you are locked into special summoning zombies for the rest of the turn. And then, of course, still sticking with it, the best boss monster ever printed out of a structure deck. Doom King is a walking two interruptions. Whenever a zombie monster activates its effect, it can either chain to negate that monster or it can chain to banish any monster on the field or in the graveyard. And when zombie world is face up on the field, everything once again is a zombie. So this just stops everything. The banishing is non-targeting. This card is just unreal. Like, and it comes back every standby phase provided there's a face up field spell. Not even your own. Like this card is so good. And that's it for the zombie. So, on to our new extender package. We play the four dangers because that's dwindling. all. Dwindling. Dwindling, <laughs> dwindling danger package. We play the one snake, the one bunny, the one Nessie, and then the one Mothman. I found in testing that the Mothman is not really good because a lot of decks nowadays rely on having cards in their graveyard. So, as soon as they snipe the moth, which happens every single time, you're helping them. So, like, you really just want to play this card at one. And this is the first card I side out every time. They basically made Malicious unplayable, but we are still choosing to play the double copy of Apprentice Illusion Magician. This card says that you can discard any card and then special summon it. So it's a free body and it helps you to get things out of your hand into the graveyard, which is where most of your deck functions anyways. And then here we are officially moving into the spice. This is the new portion of the deck. Everything else was kind of standard from the last build. This y'all, this is, it gets wonky. All right, so just hang with me. <laughs> we are playing our official new normal summon. We are playing Marauding Captain. 
locked in at three. What this card says is that when this card is normal summoned, you can special summon one level four or lower monster from your hand. So if you open this and Unizombie, free needle fiber. You open this and any other of your tuners, free needle fiber. You open this and any extender, it's a free plus one still. Like this card, the summon of this card is just insane. And what's really cool about this card is that you can't ash it because it summons from the hand. So you are guaranteed that extra body. And now off to some additional new spicy extenders. We are playing our level three, AKA our water package. <laughs> we are playing double Crusadia Arborea and double Sea Archiver. These zombies like to swim. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason that we are playing these is because Crusadia Arborea literally special summons herself to a Link Arrow, which is really easy to do. She's a tuner and she's a level three. And then we play the double C Archiver because it has so much synergy with the deck. Anytime something is summoned to a Link Arrow, whether this is in your hand or your graveyard, it special summons itself to the field. It just banishes once it leaves the field. However, we've broken this card and found a way to completely just get around that because you know what? They're both level threes, yo. And it's really good to point out that your Marauding Captain and your Arborea are warriors. Just keep that in mind. And then moving on to the tuners. Konami thought they were slick banning Steam the Cloak and Glow Up Bulb and even Destrudo for some reason, but that's okay because we still play the Mecha Phantom Beast O-Lion, Satellite Synchron, Jet Synchron, Quick Draw Synchron, and Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. These tuners are absolutely broken. So what these cards do and the way that they function in the deck is that whenever O-Lion is sent to the graveyard, you generate a level three token. So you literally just get a free body. Satellite Synchron, Synchron. Whenever a monster is special summoned from the graveyard, aka when you activate Mizuki, this card special summons itself for free from the hand. Jet Synchron special summons itself from the graveyard by sending a card from your hand to the graveyard. Quick Draw Synchron literally allows you to just special summon itself from the hand by sending one monster from your hand to the grave. And then this is just for the lock. We don't want to play this card, but like Yu-Gi-Oh was all about being unfair and this card is just unfair. So there it is. <laughs> Once again, we only play double copies of Zombie World because this card is a brick. It's searchable off of like 12 cards in your deck still. It's one of the best field spells in the entire game. Not only is it a floodgate, but it helps your deck because your deck synergizes so well in the graveyard already. Then we play triple copies of tuning. I apologize for the comments. The hollow ones are on the way in the mail, but we just wanted to get this video up as soon as possible. But this card says that you can add one Synchron tuner from your deck to your hand and then send the top card of your deck to the graveyard. So this gets you any combo piece that you would need out of your deck into your hand so that you can just continue to play for free. And it helps you mill a card to potentially get more gas in your graveyard. And then we play four one ofs. We play the one Rota, the one Foolish Burial, the one Monster Reborn, and then the one Super Poly. So Rota obviously just helps you search your Arborea or your Marauding Captain. Foolish Burial allows you to send anything that you need from your deck to your graveyard. Monster Reborn is just an extender because it can help you bring back anything and just functions as a combo piece. And then Super Poly, we only play it one because it's officially searchable now. There's no reason to brick on this card. You literally play it at one because you can just get it whenever you need it. And that's the deck, y'all. It's 42 cards, but I'm telling you, this is the build. This is perfect. And for the extra deck, we play the one barricade board blocker. It's literally just a card that helps you discard cards out of your hand. And it can help you recycle your zombie world if you need it. Realistically, it doesn't come up as often anymore. But if you're scared that they're going to pop your zombie world, if you leave this space up on the field, they can't target your field spells. So this is really, really good. We play the one vampire sucker because it literally just says draw one card. We play the IP mask arena because this card is absolutely insane. I don't know. Like if you're not playing this card still, I don't know what you're doing. This card allows you to link summon on your opponent's turn. Like you can get anything. This card is so broken. Okay. Speaking of broken, we probably play the best link that has ever been created in the entire game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Crystron Needle Fiber, or whatever, I'm, we're not, it's Needle Fiber. It's Crystron Halifibrax. Yeah. Needle Fiber allows you to special summon a level three or lower tuner directly from your deck. And like, that, that's just insane. It literally gets you anything and everything that you need. And then on your opponent's turn, it allows you to synchro summon during their main phase and just get you even more combo plays. Like this card allows you to be a combo deck on both players' turn. This card is so strong. We play the one Union Carrier because this card literally allows you, once again, to get any combo piece that you need. It's This card is basically Summon Sorceress 2.0. It's so good. And if you really need it, you want to go for the unfair combo. You just search the little buster guy and equip it to anything, and then your opponent's locked out of the extra deck. But, like, this card is really strong. This Sounds card, fun. This card was made for zombies. 
the Preta Plant Verte Anaconda. Once again, just searches Super Poly. Going second, this is a really strong option or mid to late game. It just helps you clear boards, break boards, and then go in and kill your opponent. Nightmare Unicorn, this is just an IP target. It literally just helps you spin cards and remove cards. Like, you have to play this card. Another IP target, we play Appaloosa, Bow of the Goddess. This is a Link 4 that requires two monsters except tokens. So you can use your IP in your Union Carrier on your opponent's turn to go into this and provide for two more monster negates. Like, this card is just so strong. We play the Abermax for control decks. This card is nuts. This card says that your opponent cannot target it with card effects. It provides you battle protection because your opponent can only attack into this card. And whenever your opponent battles you with a special summon monster, this card literally just gains that attack and kills it anyways. And if they find a way to get rid of this card, whenever this card leaves the field and goes to the graveyard, you get to shuffle any card on the field back into the deck. So like, this card is unreal. And if you IP with him, he can't be destroyed by card effects. So it's really an Correct. extra amount of resources just to get him off field. Yeah. So going in him is just busted. Yeah, this card is like an auto win button against most matchups. Moral sword! <laughs> Do we have to explain this card? Like, it's just, you win for free. We play the one Levier, the Sea Dragon. So this is the spice that we were talking about before. It's two level three monsters and you get to detach one material and special summon one of your banished level four or lower monsters. So if you can go into this card, you detach your Sea Archiver. Sea Archiver goes to the graveyard so it's not banished and you get a free Mizuki back. You can link this and your Mizuki into an IP and then you've got a Mizuki back in your graveyard. This card is not only ulti, but is busted. <laughs> Wow, what a flex. <laughs> play the one shooting riser dragon because this is your main target off of needle fiber this card says that you can foolish burial any monster that is lower than level seven from your deck to your graveyard it just can't activate its effects that turn which is fine and the reason you do that is because whatever you send this card's level is reduced by that so this is like mini destrudo and then it allows you to synchro summon on your opponent's turn which of course you're going to go into borderland savage dragon like this card is unreal like negating the activation of cards is unfair so like this is part of your end board in your combo this card is bust did you need this card? And then just for our super poly targets, we play the one dragon necro nether soul dragon and then the one starving venom fusion dragon. This is literally two zombie monsters and this is your just two dark monsters. You can search super poly off of verte anaconda. So this just helps you clear boards. It's two zombie monsters anywhere on the field. So you literally can just like clear two cards off your opponent's field for free. And then this is two dark monsters. Everyone knows what this card does. So just in case you don't have zombie world face up, but you are going against a tough combo deck, a lot of combo decks are dark monsters. So they can still help you just break that board. And if you're not able to clear your opponent, opponent's board completely with this card. This card has a really awesome effect where during the damage calculation, if this card battles a monster with an original level, it makes their attack zero. It doesn't kill it. It's not destroyed, but it clones a token of the original attack. So now their monster is zero. This gained the attack of what that monster was, and then you can just attack into them with their zero card now, and then just inflict more damage. So shout out to our boy Clinton over at Cardboard Gaming for this incredible Dark Soul token. Like, this is the manga artwork of Nether Soul dragon so like this is just insane links will be in our description box of our videos if you guys want to go pick these up and if you use our discount code which is crush cards 10 you get 10 percent off of your entire purchase and then of course shout out to konami they actually gave us a mecha fan beast token so like we get to play a level three token this is really cool cute we play triple dark ruler no more for combo decks because we do not want to lose going second. So this card literally helps you like not really break boards, but shut them off because not a lot of combo decks are ending on spell trap negates. They're all monster negates and your opponent can't respond with monster effects to this card. So you literally just turn off their card, build your own board and then just kill them the next turn. And then you play triple twin twister because the worst matchup for this deck is back row and you cannot afford to lose to back row. So triple twin and it says discard. Once again, back row decks or just like any weird deck that you don't want to see go second evenly match them blow out their entire board and then just kill them the next turn triple dd crow hate hand traps honestly think hand traps are probably the worst slots in every single deck but this is the most impactful i would say we at least side this card because every deck functions in the graveyard some way some shape some form somehow so this just allows them to not play and get their cards like this card is really really great and then our last card just for problematic monsters we play triple gamma seal because we want to out windows we want to out problematic cards we want to get rid of borrowed savage dragons that our opponent has so like sea turtle is just so busted gamma seal we love him. While we shuffle up, I just want to draw your attention to this amazing, beautiful manga mat. If you guys want to get a copy of it yourself, you can visit Pow Manga Mats on Facebook or go over to our videos and the link will be in the description box down below. And if you use the discount code CRUSHMANGA5, you get 5% off your entire purchase. We'll have our opponent cut. Hi, it's me, your opponent. All right, here we go. Moth, Mizuki, 
Gozuki in Zombie World, and then a snake. All right, well, we are going to first off, obviously, activate our Zombie World, and then we are going to reveal our moth in hand. So we'll say one, two, three, four. Reveal lamp. Three, so Gozuki goes, lamp will summon, we'll draw a card. There we go, all right, let's see where we can go with this. We are going to normal solitaire, activate effect. We're gonna special summon our Unizombie, and then we'll activate Unizombie's effect to discard one, and then we'll send one also. Send another Mizuki, and then of course we'll just link for two into our Needle Fiber. We will then activate Needle Fiber's effect. We'll summon our O Lion, and then we can Mizuki back the Gozuki, and then we can then activate Gozuki's effect to send another card from our deck to our graveyard. We'll send the third Mizuki from our deck to our grave, and then we can activate our Snake. It will hit the Snake, obviously, and the Snake will then summon, and then we can activate a Mizuki, banishing it to special summon our Unizom. Now we have a bunch of different lines of play. What we can do here, we're gonna overlay the Unizombie and the Suchinoko into our Levier. You know what, it's Master Rule 5. Let's do it over here just for fun. And then we're gonna activate the Levier. Detach the Unizombie and special summon a Mizuki. So now we have two Mizukis, basically, to play with still. So what we can do here is we'll link for two, Mizuki will go to the grave, and so will O-Lion. We will get our Union Carrier, and then we can activate Union Carrier targeting Gozuki, equipping the Glow Up Bloom directly from our deck to the Gozuki. Now, we can link summon again into an IP Mascarena, and then of course your Bloom hit the graveyard, so you're gonna banish it. Special summoning out your Doom King, and then now because Bloom has resolved, you are locked into zombie monsters, but that's perfectly okay because everything in your graveyard is already a zombie. So you're gonna activate one of your other Mizuki in your graveyard and you're gonna bring back any level four monster so we'll just choose the moth and on that we are going to pass so now what's gonna happen on our opponent's turn is when they enter their main phase we're gonna activate IP Mascarena first linking with IP and Union Carrier now depending on your matchup you can go for Abramax so that he's untargetable and then that everything has to battle him first or if you know that you need additional negates you can go for Appaloosa so now we have an Appaloosa with two negates and the reason that you activate IP first is a so that you can get links into your graveyard for your Borload Savage to equip, and two, almost more importantly, so that you can get your powerful monster out of the extra monster zone so they can't Cyber Dragon it, and then they also can't Gravity Controller it away. So now, on resolution of that, we'll activate our Needle Fiber, banishing it, special summoning a Shooting Riser Dragon, and then Shooting Riser will activate. Moth is a four, and you need this to be a four. So if this is a level seven, you need to Foolish a level three from your deck to your graveyard. We'll send our C Archiver so that we have an extender for our following turn. And then on resolution, we are going to activate Shooting Riser again, Synchro Summoning, into our Borolode Savage Dragon. And then we will equip the Union Carrier for an additional two negate. So now, if you want to see our graveyard, I know it's kind of sprawled out over here, but we have a C Archiver for extension. We have a Mizuki, and if we don't draw anything off the top, we can always Mizuki back a Uni and a Gozuki to get another starter. We have Appaloosa with two negates, Borlode Savage Dragon with two negates. Zombie World is face up on the field, so Doom King has two interruptions. This is literally a test hand that didn't open your actual normal summon that you want to see, and just a couple extenders. Like, this end board is so consistent, and it is so easy to get to. And of course, we didn't get interrupted, but this is just to show what the deck can do. Even if you do get interrupted once or twice, the deck does play so many extenders that you can just go through and end on something different that still is really strong. So, that's why we play the Buster well. That's why we play other cards in our extra deck to end on, so we can still interrupt interrupt our opponent on their turn. I'm just gonna shuffle real quick, do a couple of little, uh, one of these guys, and then we will ask our opponent to cut. Hi, it's me, the only opponent, because we can only play each other. <laughs> we will draw Zombie World, Solitaire, Foolish, Banshee, and Marauding Captain. Oh my god, this hand is the <laughs> God hand. Wow. Holy crap. This hand is unbelievable. It's beautiful. Wow. All right. So what we are going to do is we are going to start off by normal summoning our Marauding Captain. We will then activate its effect to special summon Solitaire. And then we will activate Solitaire's effect, tributing for cost, special summoning a Unizombie directly from our deck to our side of the field. We'll then activate Unizombie's effect, sending a Mizuki from our deck to our graveyard. And then we're just going to activate our Zombie World. So now we can activate Unizombie, 
discarding our Necroworld Banshee so that when we have our Doom King on field, we also have an additional action for us to banish this on our opponent's turn because this is a quick effect and trigger our Doom King just so that we don't have to wait for our opponent to activate anything. We'll then activate Foolish Burial and we'll send a Sea Archiver from our deck to our grave. We'll then link for two into our Needle Fiber and then Needle Fiber will attempt to activate. We'll then summon the O-Lion to an arrow that Needle Fiber points to, which will then trigger our Sea Archiver. Now what we can do is we'll banish the Mizuki in our graveyard to special summon back our Unizom. Now we can overlay three into our Levier, and then we can activate Levier's effect to detach the Sea Archiver. So this is what I was talking about before. We now cheated the Sea Archiver leaving the field and getting banished, so we have it for follow-up next turn. Levier will summon Mizuki, and then we can link these two into our Union Carrier. Now it's important that you keep Mizuki on the field because you need to equip a zombie to a zombie. So once our Mecha Phantom Beast O-Lion leaves the field, we will generate a token, and then Union Carrier will activate targeting the Mizuki. We'll once again equip our glow up bloom to the Mizuki and then we can link to Mizuki and the equip we'll go to the graveyard we'll grab ourselves an IP Mascarena and then we can activate the bloom in our graveyard to banish it because it was sent there special summoning a doom king directly from our deck to our side of the field now because bloom has resolved we are locked into zombie monsters for the duration of the turn but that is totally fine because the zombie world is already face up on the field and everything in our graveyard is already a zombie so now we have options right we can reborn a level four and then on our opponent's turn, send a level three, or we can reborn a level three, and then on our opponent's turn, send a level two. So we're gonna Mizuki back our Solitaire, and on that, we're gonna pass to our opponent. So our graveyard right now is a Banshee to interact on our opponent's turn and a Sea Archiver to also be an extender on our following turn. So once again, same line of play. Our opponent enters their main phase, we're gonna IP. We'll go into an Avermax this time, but you can go into an Appaloosa for two if you need two more additional negates. And then we can also activate our Crystron Needle Fiber, banishing it, special summoning the Shooting Riser, and then the Shooting Riser will activate. We need to send a level three to make this seven and this four an eight. We'll just send in our Borea from our deck to our graveyard and then we can synchro summon here for eight now so we'll get our savage dragon and then savage will activate equipping the union carrier with two negates so right now our end board is abermax which is the only card our opponent can attack if they special summon a monster and try to attack it with a special summon monster it just gains their attack anyways and he can't be destroyed by card effects because he was used with an ip he's out of the extra monster zone so that's going to be a little bit harder for some decks to clear you have a borrowed savage dragon with one negate on your turn and one negate on this current turn which is your opponent's and then you have a doom king with two interruptions because zombie world is face up on the field and you also have a Banshee in your graveyard if your opponent tries to play around the Doom King. So you can just activate this and banish it, activating a new zombie world directly from your deck just to trigger your Doom King, not waiting for your opponent at all. You also have a Sea Archiver in your graveyard so that you can continually play and use it as an extender. And then in your next turn, like, this is more than enough for lethal. So once again, this is just to show what the deck can do and how the new extenders function in the deck. You definitely have to change the way that you play this deck, but zombie combo is still stronger than ever. I mean, you can end on six negates you can end on four negates and an untargetable avermax that your opponent can only attack this card you can't like, destroy yeah like the card is insane so like this board is unreal so we just want to say thank you again to sam for having us on the channel and just thank you guys so much for just watching this and taking the time to actually see what zombies can still do at this point even after a ban list that destroys a quarter of a deck destroyed it destroyed <laughs> it and by the way team we just started a patreon wow we hope that we can grow even closer to all of you this way we have a whole bunch of amazing things on each tier to make it extra special so go check it out links are in the description so once again we just hope that you guys enjoyed this profile we hope that you subscribe to our channel join our family we just hit 10,000 subscribers so that's a huge mile marker for yeah, us yeah it's really cool we can't believe we got there but anyway thank you guys so much we love you we appreciate you you matter you really really do and so have a great day guys we love you. we'll see you soon guys bye Mwah.